hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago. I want to talk to you about what is commonly called manifesting. But what manifesting really is, in a simple way, is getting what you need and creating what you want. So how do you do this when you have so many other things going on? And I've talked to people all over the world. There are literally people that just, you know, have a lifestyle where it's very simple. They can watch videos after video. And there's other people that have lives where they are busy and on the go. The good news is both people can actually do the work that I outlined so that they can manifest. There are things to know about how do you do it. That's what a lot of people don't tell you is the how to. So manifesting starts with an impulse. And sometimes that impulse can come from being dissatisfied, being angry, being upset, or feeling like you need to make a move, break out, bus three, have, have a breakthrough or something. But then people feel stuck or they could already be at a certain level and they begin to feel not just stagnation, but stagflation. In a lot of ways, what is happening in the economy is very reminiscent of the 1970s where you had stagflation, you have inverted curves and the yields of different uh, financial factors. You don't really need to study those things like I have. You don't really need to be involved with it unless it's your job. However, there are things you should do and you should not do. Number one is you don't watch the media. Do not believe everything you see because I like to take a quote from one of my favorite books. Empires are built during the fall of a civilization and empires are built in the building up of a civilization. Now your own personal empire is what you make it. Being the empress or the emperor and however that looks for you. What do you like? What do you enjoy? What do you want? What do you need? Okay, that's where doing this from a soul level is so critical because your soul is you and yet your soul needs you to be, you know, the hands-on person at this level. How does it look? How is it? We help you break that down and really help you to know that. The other thing we help you to do is when it ebbs and flows, in other words, if it feels like it's leaving you or it's rushing back at you, that's how love can be. It's sometimes like the ocean. I call it the ocean of love. It's coming in to support you and kiss you and, you know, tickle your feet and make you feel uplifted. And then it can feel like it recedes and you're saying, where did that go? Because you got used to that. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot have some stability, okay? There's a difference between stability and stagnation. If you're feeling stuck, if it's nagging at you that you need to make changes, if it's nagging at you that you should be doing something different, or it's nagging at you that you're not even sure what the heck is going on, let's get you refocused, let's get you reconnected, and let's get you up and running into what you need to. Now, the one thing that I've really noticed with my work is it helps people not only recapture their spirit, the thing that we call the human spirit is actually a much larger part of people. It's deeper, it's larger, and it's 5D. And you're not gonna get that with the small little mind that operates in the frontal lobe. This is the part that you present to the world and that's where you're, you know, detecting things like, oh, I smell this, someone's grilling. Uh, oh, I can tell that I'm hearing like there's a siren somewhere. Okay, those are your senses, but the other parts of you are trying to feed you and to support you because it's you and it's always gonna be you. And this is always the method and the modality that you're going to use to do it. The next thing is when you have the ebb and the flow of the cycle, how do you feel it when the wind is under your wings and you just need to go for it? Now, this is something that I tell people in a lot of my classes that I do. You hear this phrase, blind faith. You're taking things on blind faith. You're trusting and people say, trust the process. What I say to you is cooperate with your process Get yourself to the level where you can see things 
and you're not blind, even if you have the faith and fidelity, okay? I don't like to use the word faith because it connotes like religion. I like to say, do you have the faithfulness, the fidelity, the loyalty, the devotion to who you really are? to what you really want and manifest it. There are things that people that talk about manifestation do not know about this that I do. There are things that you may not understand about how this supersedes the human mind and yet you need some engagement of your human mind to formulate your plan, okay? To help identify things that would click for you. And I have seen people completely transform their lives so this is a transformative experience. It is intended to help you manifest. It's intended to help you with what's for right now and get you to the next steps. I'm gonna leave you with a thought here. Do you really think that higher energy can come into low places? If it's already activated, it's time for you to want to get out of those low vibe places, no matter what it is, a job, a marriage, a relationship, but you do it in a proper way, which means utilizing your energies and not just, you know, saying the heck with it. You can't do that. I've seen people do that before where they, they are so disruptive and it does not go well because they have not taken the proper steps. When it's done properly, it feels like a win for everyone. Win, 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 and there's no collateral damage. It feels like the best idea ever. So that is the result of doing the work using my methods and modality. So reach out with questions, twinflameringconnection at gmail.com. Look in the description below to join us, and I hope to see you there. Bye.